Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about my indoor worm farming. And today we're going to take a look in on the African Nightcrawler bin, which is in a vermi bag, Little Mammoth. Now you guys are not going to believe what I have done since the last time that you have been here in the same spot with me. I did something I probably never thought I would do. I'm not sure if it was a good idea. I sort of regret it already. But uh, I had the impulse that I don't like to fail and I don't like to give up on things. And after my trip to Italy, my African night crawlers, uh, I lost quite a few of them due to the lack of moisture. And um, so I didn't have very many left, quite honestly. So I went and I bought two pounds from V at the Garden and Worm Lady. And um, if you're in the worm community, you probably already know who she is. But I bought a, bought a couple of pounds, and quite honestly, I think she gave me more than two pounds worth. Um, I will attach the, um, the video of me opening them as well. And I've done something bad. Um, I know it's bad, and I did it anyway because um, I really... Uh, like watching different kinds of worms grow and develop and So I went and did a thing. So I bought some worms from the garden and worm lady and She's in southern Indiana and the worms came in a box looked like this had some nice little air holes here come in a nice um, Not sure what kind of fabric you call this, but it's breathable, but uh, I didn't have not even one worm escape Okay, and because it was cold when I got these, I wanted to hurry up and get them in something warm. I took them out, and now they're in here. And they arrived all alive and nice and wiggly, and lots of attitude as well. And you're going to see why as soon as I get a handful of them. What have I been complaining about for like two years? African night crawlers. And what did I buy two pounds of? African night crawlers. I just, I cannot give up on the fact that I am, was not succeeding with my African night crawlers that I purchased from Emily back in 2019. So, being the glutton for punishment that I am, I bought another two pounds. And these guys were going to do something different. So, I have a heating pad here with a thermostat and I am going to put these in the bag and then I am going to give them their nice warm blankie. So hang on, let me get you moved. Okay, so here we are at the Vermi Bag Little Mammoth and I've got my thermostat set to 80 degrees Fahrenheit and then I have this little thermocouple and I'm going to put that in just a little bit so that these guys, you know, that will register the temperature within, you know, all the bedding. And it's only been about a week since I fed these guys and you were here. And the African night crawlers I purchased showed up, I don't know, a couple days later. So the bed's already been reset, so there should be a lot of good bedding for them. Lots of paper bedding, just like they love. And now they're going to have their own dedicated heat pad to keep them nice and warm. And then I'm going to put the um, foam rubber cover on top of this so that it should keep... I'm going to put this straight in the middle. But this should keep it nice and um, centralized and give them a place to stay nice and warm as the temperature starts to dip down well below freezing here in Illinois. So I'm going to release the worms. <clears throat> One-handed, poorly. Okay, so if you want a good look at these guys, they are so pretty. Look at that. I don't know if that you're picking up the uh, purple sheen, but you can see how big these guys are. Just, uh, let me... Come on, guys. Hang out with me here. I'm trying to get a good size one that you can see how big they are compared to my hand. But there's nothing better for carbon sources and also, you know, leaves and things like that. They may not be the best at kitchen scraps, but they will eat your Amazon boxes 
like no tomorrow you'll have to order more things on Amazon just to keep up with them. Look at that one. Can you see the purple? He's being shiny. Okay, so I'm going to kind of spread these guys out. Give them an opportunity to be over the entire width and then I'm going to reset this heating pad. This is like the Blair Witch Project, Dan. Settle down. All right, so they're going to have a nice place to all get around. And then the next time that we look in on the African Nightcrawlers, there's going to be some big dang worms. And I'm hoping that they're going to be happy because they have this nice heat mat and a thermostat to keep them nice and warm. All right, just a quick update on what things I've been up to. Um, one of which is getting back the huge African night crawlers that I had a couple years ago. And maybe now that they're in a huge system, and now that they have a nice heating pad, maybe I can maintain the size on these guys. Let your, uh, put your comments below. Am I absolutely nuts? Probably. I already know that part. But do you think it's going to work? Am I going to be able to keep these guys happy with the heating pad? But these guys are monsters. Um, I'll have a picture, an inset picture in there for you, but there's one that's almost as big as a Sharpie. So, and I thought to myself, I'm going to do it right this time. I'm not going to try and make these worms live in my conditions. I am going to do my very best to give them what they need. So I did have a community post uh, some time ago and I put in there that I am I've got heating, actually I just said, you know, you wouldn't believe what I did, I think. I didn't tell you what I did. But I've got a seed mat here that I've buried inside the vermi bag uh, long ways. I tried doing it on top, but that didn't quite work. Uh, it wouldn't stabilize the temperature, so then I put it along the back side of the vermi bag. And I've set it at 82, which is a little bit high, but honestly, because it's against the um, open air of the room, it seems to be uh, hitting about the middle. I have a um, little thermostat or whatever you guys call this. Put it in the comments below. What is this called? Anywho, I put that in the bin so that it will tell me what temperature the worms are at. And I'm shooting for, you know, 80 degrees, give or take. So now that I am trying to do it right, I'm not trying to bend the African night crawlers to my will and make them live in my situation. I am now going to try and do everything in my power to make them successful, like I probably should have done the first time. So last time we fed some cabbage. I think there was still some apples left over. Um, you can tell the moisture is much, much better in here. I've been coming in every single week and adding probably about a gallon. Look at these beasts. Um, I really want to give a shout out uh, that she hurried up and got me these worms before it got to be too cold here in Illinois. And I hope that they're shining like they do that I can see from my point of view that they're almost iridescent purple. They are beautiful worms and um, they are huge. I mean, here's one of the big ones. I'm not going to aggravate them too much because they will drop their tails if they're aggravated too much. But, you know, that's probably 9 or 10 inches from my fingertip to my wrist. So we'll put him back. So another thing that I think I'm going to finally, you know, I'm going to just give up and uh, admit that I'm not doing it right with these worms. And one of the things is that if I want them to maintain their size and make sure that they are happy, I'm going to have to start investing some money in feeding them. It's just, there's no way around it. Um, I've talked to quite a few people that are African nightcrawler breeders, and you know, they're like, you can keep doing what you're doing, but you're gonna keep getting the results that you're getting, you know? And so that's literally the definition of crazy, is it not? Um, keep doing the same thing, expecting different results. So I'm going to change my tactics and I'm going to stop just feeding them random food that is probably not going to be advantageous to these huge, beautiful tropical worms. And I do want to have my channel be about education. You know, everybody wants the big tropical worms, but I've showed you my struggles and my failures to keep these worms happy and healthy. And you can't treat them like red wigglers and you can't treat them like European night crawlers and really, you can't even treat them like blue worms. They, they really do have to have their own system. And if you've been successful treating them like 
red wigglers and European nightcrawlers, put it in the comments below because in my house it's 60 degrees in the winter time and they just die. Um, I've tried putting them in the warmest room of the house and still honestly it's, it's not been enough. So here we go, I'm going to show you what I am going to do, um, what I probably knew I should have done from the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these guys their preferred substrate, which is um, composted cow manure. And then I'm going to feed them what they'd like to have, which is ground up um, seed meal, etc. So I spent, I think, a dollar and a half on getting this. Um, you can get it at any big box store like Lowe's or Menards. And it seems to be available any time of the year. And this is uh, composted cow manure. And if I'm not mistaken, that is what, partially what they were sent to me in. Um, so, here we go. And we're also going to get them some more moisture. Uh, this heating mat does tend to dry things out, but I am showing that it is doing a really good job of keeping this bin probably at about 75 degrees. So I've got them all watered in here. I have noticed that right there, if you are going to do the same thing, you do have to apply more water right along the edge where the seed mat is. And then we're going to give them my worm chow, which is a combination of wheat flour, alfalfa meal, ground up bird seed, um, eggshell, and sometimes there's a little bit different depending upon what's available in my house. Sometimes I do put cornmeal in there. But uh, since I'd been talking to some of the African Nightcrawler community, they told me that the alfalfa meal was really great um, and that they liked that quite a bit. So I'm going to put that on both sides here, just giving them a light sprinkling. And then that is pretty much what they're going to get fed. I will probably still sneak them some you know, some pumpkin or some vegetables or something every once in a while, but primarily I'm going to see if I can keep these guys going, you know, by doing the right thing. So let me know what you think about this. And I know it goes against usually what I have been doing in the past, um, but let me know what your thoughts are. Am I doing the right thing or should I have just given up? All right, guys, if you liked the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.